And I couldn't even change if I wanted to I got diamonds on my chain and my wrist do too And I'ma always be the same no matter what I do And you know money ain't a thing and I don't look like you what's going on man it's the motherfucking bold lane tv podcast let's talk about it featuring run your mouth you know what i'm saying y'all already know we got in here we got run your mouth in here we got my cousin splash here and the big dog in here og giggity Why? Why? hey man let's talk about it man hey check this out i'll talk though og we already know you on cuz but none of that nonsense. We're gonna try to keep it more respectable as we can. No, this is this your house. Run your house. Don't worry about me. <laughs> Cut them off, dude. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. We're gonna pop it. Run your mouth. Run your house, man. We're going to All right, let's check this out, man. We're gonna start out like this. OG, this just song been on my mind. Tell me this, OG. Why is rapper trying to turn the music industry into the streets, man? And that's what's messed up the rap game, bro. Yeah. That's what's messed that would have messed up the rap game. If you notice the, the, the hip hop used to be the number one. And they like I think at number three or something. Y'all check it out around. But my thing is, that's the problem. Too many real dudes come into the entertainment world and now they want to bring that street stuff to the entertainment world and they want people to feel like this is what you gotta stand on. No, man, entertainment is entertainment. Now you're gonna be a gangster, you're gonna be a gangster over here, but you know, people getting that legal money over here. And 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 that's what's messing up the rap game at. So that that's how I look at it like that. Uh like uh example. Like everybody trying to get on Kodak Blackhead for the thing with Sid Nine. Man, <laughs> man pay the man a million dollars, man. I'm gonna get that money. Then he ain't in the street. No more so it don't matter if he's telling or whatever. You ain't trying to get no work from him. Yeah, but bro, let me just tell y'all this. Y'all better be careful because y'all know Boosie don't like that. So y'all don't want Boosie coming at you. <laughs> All right, now. <laughs> Boosie don't play now. Don't talk, y'all. Oh, that's my dog, though. That's my, that's my boy. Yeah, well, don't, yeah, that's your dog. Don't be, he ain't going to be dog the more. You keep on talking about stuff. saying they'll make no mean off no feature. Um... Hey, boy, you on Facebook? Big facts. They're gone. saying they'll make no mean off no feature, so get with it. Uh, Vixen can't really just give his opinion on Is you know. Yeah. Right. He can't he can't just give his opinion on me and I was featured. Think about it. Somebody never I'll boost on me and I'll for a feature. I love Boost now, but get away. You can't really say you wouldn't have did it. I love him too. I love thank shout out to Boosie Boo. Yeah, shout out Boosie, man. I want to keep my career off. I see. He just keep my career off. <laughs> <laughs> I be eating. I be burping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah, he know. keep my career off, bro. Um, <laughs> I didn't let up off him for a minute though. Um he ain't been doing nothing crazy lately, but they got some some other stuff floating around on him now. So I just been sitting in the cut. You waiting on that boy? Well, not really. I, that kind of stuff. <laughs> uh, that kind of stuff. I don't like to entertain. Yeah. You know. So I stay away from certain things. I because I, you know how we always say, all money ain't good money. Yeah, right. for sure. So certain things I'd be like, oh, I pass it up. I'm good. You know, I wait, do something else because the internet is full of stuff to talk about. Yeah. It's so much content up there. You know what I'm saying? So it just depends on what you want to go with, how you want to, who you feel you want to offend and who you don't want to offend. Hey, hey Big O, since, since we on the um, boots and surgery though, right? Mm-hmm. I just seen like a lot of interviews, right? Well, a lot of people talk about Boosie like he really ain't, what he rap about, he he ain't have too much to do with it. Like that with his lifestyle. Boosie bad. Oh. Um, you, know what I'm saying? you get what I'm saying? Oh. Yeah, I know what you're saying. You, in other words, you're trying to say Boosie money was a stepper. He wasn't a stepper. That what you actually Yeah. Said? Hey, that, um, that man was tiptoeing, really. Let me say that. <laughs> let me say this here. Let me say this here. I got to defend my Louisiana homeboy. Yeah. Um, I don't know for sure. If, I know he was in the streets hustling. His cousin, they did. They just did a podcast where his cousin said, I was the gangster. He was the hustler. To my donkey. Right. I've seen that. You know what I'm saying? So I was like, whoa. And you know, like I always tell people, just let a just be quiet, let a person talk, and it's all gonna come out. But the, the crazy thing about it though, and I'm, I'm gonna let y'all thank me later because when me and Boosie was going at it, hot and heavy, a lot of people, uh, you know, and it's rightfully so because a lot of everybody, you know, a lot of people love Boosie the hood. So when I was coming out, when we was going at it, I was like, it's bringing out a lot, pointing out a lot of stuff. You know, I was getting a little backlash. Then people start saying, "Oh no, oh yeah, you got a good point." Then oh. now it's like I'm the people. That's why I got that from the people champ. Yeah. That's why I got that from messing with Boosie when he dissed me on um, Twitter. I had ticked him off about being on PC, and he dissed me on Twitter. And when he dissed me on his Twitter page, 
a lot of his comments was in my favor. I said, oh, okay, I'm a people champ. I saw his own. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because like I tell people, bro, I didn't know the magnitude of social media. Right. So I was just going, you know, taking it as to go along. Like when I first started the Instagram, I press a button. I didn't know I was on um with that wow. only fan thing. No, that only fan thing. If you was on there. No, bro. <laughs> Let me tell you what I did. Yeah. <laughs> so now, look, listen to me now. I see so. Yeah, that's true. But this, 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 yeah, that's a fact. Uh, but this is what I did wrong. I had 33, 30 or 33 people following me, and I was following 300. So, so this person I know was like, hey, you're doing that wrong. Like, what you mean? You, sure. Yeah, I was like, all right, so I deleted everything and started all over. You know what I'm saying? So, and then. You had to learn. Yeah, had to learn, right? Yeah, but man. You still went back to that only fan page, though. I ain't deleted it yet. You took off my best. I ain't never left it. I'm just a list crawler, too. You know about list crawler? <laughs> No, nah, what that is? Uh, put me on. Put me on. Let me on. Bro, you don't know about list crawl? No, what that is? New like, back page. You, you know what it is. Hey, wait, wait, what that is? That like a, a little... That you know what it is, right? That like a... That, that one of the... That a new back hey, look, no, There you go. Hey, that one of the... Hey, that one of the... Get you in. Like, yeah, yeah. Skip the game? That girl gonna tell me you wanna do a quick I mean, visit. You know about skip the game? No, what that is? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, gee, I, uh, I'm it's like, hey, yeah, you ever out of town? You lonely? Type in, skill the game. Hey, that's how it's crushing. That's how it's crushing. It's going to leave you happy. But listen, uh, a lot of them girls be playing game now. Or whoever be behind them pay, they be playing game. They'll tell no, me, I would tell you what I learned. Though, uh, send me a few dollars up front. I'm going to tell you what I did, what I learned. I done got finesse like that. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not two times. Look, look, look. You know how they hit you with, well, you know, before you come, I need I need 50 or uh, 50. Oh, no. Right. Oh, no. So, uh, you know me, car was a little straight. <laughs> I done sit the 50. <laughs> she blocked me. <laughs> oh, wow. So, hey, so I learned, like, if, if it ever a situation like that again, if I just can't pull up and... and I ain't Ooh. doing no uh, and then they hit, they hit you with Zell. Nah, all <laughs> oh, that like you hit cash out. I need some gas. J pay. Yeah, yeah. Like, I didn't want a boy to do that. Well, okay, yep. the deposit, the gas money. <laughs> and what he called, he would block. <laughs> oh, man, oh, you don't really need to be only. Oh, how the hell? You had ten before you went in. Well, you had and maybe three pops because I got listen. I done had two females that hit me when I come home. These little girls, they twenty five. And it was like, well, I didn't want to tell you because you was living wild and I didn't want to let you know this is your daughter. I was like, <laughs> I had a baby pappy. Because see, I don't I'm, I'm, I don't mind now because the child old now. Right. I don't have to worry about no child support yeah, and all yeah. that. Old. Yeah, I already right. let say, my daughter. They right. say all had 10 before you went in. I said, well, aunt was a real, well, you were from Project to Project, well. Yeah, I was all over that city, so bro. Like, hey, aunt, okay, with 10 kids, though, and you you doing your time, so that means you ain't never go to the store getting no rubbers, did you? I ain't know what that. I ain't never heard of that. What you mean? So you just not for all weenie. Yeah, neck and head, neck and head, neck and head. Yeah, yeah, not like you gotta feel that stuff, man. That, that okay, rubber. so you say you got ten kids, right? Right. And five girls. Five girls, five boys. With the life you were living, though, all right. With the life you were living, and then having the having daughters, that then like, like it didn't it didn't make you want to change or. Do things a lot different than what you were doing before. <laughs> Bro, listen, let me tell y'all something. I had a sick mindset. This was triggered that. One day my mother called me. I was riding around just looking for something to get into. She said, what you doing? You know, we talk. She said, um, if somebody ever kidnapped me, don't come. I said, mom, what you tell me why? She said, because they're going to kill us. They're going to kill both of us. I already lived my life. So when my mother told me that, I was like, yeah, you know what, mama, right. So then it was a thing where I was like, if somebody kidnapped one of my children, called me, tell me, oh, I got your daughter, your son, you better come on, we're going to kill him. I was going to be like, I don't believe you. Hang up. Because I always say you always make another child. Mm. So I learned. Oh, oh, tell you I would make another child. What about that one right there, though? It's over with. Go on. I just hope I would put some insurance on <laughs> No, that's how I thought. That's how I thought like back then. Hit. Yeah, because the person, uh, they was check your weakness and they exploit that. Yeah. So when you in them streets, want to hustle, get that money, people check it for your weakness. So that wouldn't affect you, okay? If you're in serious matter, one you. of your child got kidnapped. This, this, this real life. Back then or now? Like, like back then. Uh -huh. And they call you and be like, we got your sister, we got your daughter, sister. 
be here by five when she dead, you ain't even going. Let me hit a gunshot. Mm. Real talk, but I, I'm not coming. It hurts you though? No, it ain't gonna hurt me. Let me tell you why. Because I always tell people, I'm scared to die first. Mm. And what I mean by that is, nobody not gonna get some get back like me. I feel that. Cause you know, we got a bunch, like all of us in here, they say all of us grew up together. We all went to school together, stayed in the same neighborhood, wore each other clothes, we brothers. But if somebody kill me, y'all gonna be mad, might slide, but ain't gonna slide how, when I want y'all to slide or when I think you'll slide. Whereas if it's me, I'm going to slide like right now, you know? Yeah, yeah. I ain't gonna yeah. lie. Somebody do something, my baby, I'm killing babies and I, shit. Exactly. Like, that's how I'm getting it. Like, exactly. I ain't gonna lie, not my baby. Yeah. So, up. you know, that's the mindset I had. You got it, bro. When you living that life, you got to, bro, because if not, it's over for you. You got to be prepared to lose the other one. Yeah, because if you want to be out the head first, and now what's even worse now, the social media. So when people get on there, want to control or want to, um, what's called, troll the ops. Troll it, yeah. yeah, you want to troll your ops, then them people running down on you, now you look crazy. Man, well, yeah. You know what, too, though? When they was out there, they was the murder capital of the world type shit. Yeah, so you really, you actually probably you got to really move like that and yeah, think like that. Too. Well, Facts. Like I said, it was different back then. No yeah. social media. Yeah. 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 That's it. I should have bought my people, man. <laughs> yeah, I should have bought my pants. Man, that shit, that shit. I ain't gonna lie. That shit made me think like that, boy. Kyle. Yeah, bro. You, bro. When you in that gang, think about it. You in the gang, you get money. You ride nights. You click. Everybody fly. Everybody get money. So it's always gonna be somebody be like, first I'm gonna see who the weak link out of that click. Or I'm gonna follow him home, or I'm gonna put my girl on him. They're gonna find, see, like he talking about the back with that page he was talking about. Right. Yeah, you want to skip the game. I'm gonna put you on, I'm gonna put you on. I'm no, I'm gonna have that broad on that skip the game. I'm gonna get you talking about some skip the game. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah I'm saying he didn't. He's he, 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 he sleep right now. Where too? Hey, look, hey, hey. <laughs> that little, oh, I, you know that too, though. I see you still, your mind still tight. I will come in, all, people around corners and shit. Of course. I, gotta, came over, I, like, I beat them. Now. That's just an old habit. You know, you're going to yeah, be like, I like what I'm walking into? What's going on? What's, I like what's that, though. You don't you know what I'm saying? Like that. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But, you know, my thing is, um, all shutting doors and shit when they left. Yeah, you got locked door. You got locked door now. Oh, yeah, I like that too, though. I was locked with yeah, it. Got... I seen it. I picked it. I like, damn, that, 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 that the hypo move. Yeah, it's for locked door now. You ain't gonna get no free kill. For sure. But listen, <laughs> hey, listen. But you got to keep in mind this, bro. I've been having fun. I done done so much dirt. And I'm finally free. And it's like, you know how you just be free, free? And you be like, okay, I'm going to let my guard down just chill. Then somebody just go ahead and hit the dome. And he'd be like, see, that would he get that butt. So they let him down. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? But so, but you know, my thing, that's why um I have a different method how I approach the social media site. Cause he you know, says ain't playing. Everybody got switches and they got the, yeah. the clips with the with the with the drum on that thing and, and all them foreign names. Before I, I didn't know nothing about those right. Draco. So you know, you know, it, really, really, it might be one gun and they were using the street. Well, we had the, we had the, we had SKSs, we had the AK forty seven, two twenty three. Yeah, they got the most things in the one book bag. Yeah, man. Every last one of them I have it in their book bag. You Facts. Know? Yeah, they talking in the bag. That's, and that, and that, and that's crazy though. Yeah, like, I don't think I could have done that though because it was it was serious when we was coming. It was on site for me to try to take the bag. I'm trying to. I've been too nervous. Oh, them boys coming out. It's Britain now. With it. Yeah. yeah. So, yeah. So, oh, uh, like back in the day, okay, when y'all were young, you had your beef going on. Y'all had y'all beef going on. Did y'all club a lot? Like, of course. Did y'all used to see who y'all beefing with in the club? Yeah. So how would, like, how would, how would that be? Like, how would that be like? We're going to fight in here, and whoever gets to the car or for somebody yeah, outside of that thing. First. You gonna work that too? Yeah, bro. We did that group hey, stuff, bro. Hey, is it like how it is now? Like back, like now, like you might see your ops in the club, you bouncing they fade, whatever, whatever. Be funny. Was y'all like that back in the day though, or y'all just be like dudes? They might be over there. You no dancing back then. Yeah, we used to be dancing and having fun. Oh, y'all, so y'all asked about dancing back? Yeah, we had fun. They called me slipping one time. I was about a milk. Oh, I was like, moves. yeah, I was two blocks <laughs> down, right. So I, my, my homie Killer Stone, he had a black bravado. I'm, I'm parked on the Dutra ground. I got a Mac 11, but it's under the seat. But I'm in the club detour. And the girl said, hey, that's your black truck out there? I said, yeah. She said, they got like a few uh, boys around looking at your truck. I said, oh, God. So I, I know this police name, Robbie, that's from out the mail project. He be riding the bus. He, he out the hood. So I said, Robbie, man, why don't you escort me to my car? So I had the police to escort me to my truck to get me on from out of there because them boys was going to crush me that night. Like they called me down bad at, at a concert one time, and all my homegirls and and homeboy was in the concert, and it was like them boys at the mill, they out there, they got eight Ks, cause I had the shirt on with the rest in peace, and they wasn't dead, they was outside, but I got the shirt on with their names on the tombstone, shooting the grave up. 
had no respect, did you? No, nah, we totally different respect. That's why I said that stuff they be doing that. We been doing that. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But I had, but the thing is, they they could have had me, but you know, so many people like me. So when they came, brought it to me, my people, my homies, you know, I probably looked at them like, "What you gonna do? You going out there?" You go? so I'm like, "Oh no, I ain't about to be no hero." <laughs> no. I say, to move. yeah, told the officer, hey, man, yeah. you know, there's a lot of stuff going on. Can you please escort me into my car? And because my car was parked in the, in the parking lot that the building set here, and they had a parking lot beside the building. So the officer escorted me. I got in my car. I was in a, a white with the gray at the bottom, GS300, the Lexus, which is called the bubble back then. And I pull out, point my middle finger at them because they were facing that way, and I went that way, and I got away. Mm. But yeah, man, we, we used to be out. You had to be out. Ain't no shooting, tucking your tail and hiding. No, you're going to be out. You're going to be out and about. Ooh, the and crazy part about it, I wasn't on drugs. So you had a few wheels on that heroin and stuff, but, yeah, you had to be out and about. Yeah, you had to be out and about. Hey, OG, look my shit now. So, I, I done seen a couple of interviews, right? I done seen you say, ain't no one nigga ran New Orleans type shit, right? So, mm -hmm. but who the biggest gangster come up out that bit? Bro, I can't, listen. <laughs> That's that's in, that's impossible to say because even though New Orleans is small as a bowl, but the Magnolia Project, right? So you've seen a lot of videos, a lot of stuff. Mm -hmm. So we got gangsters in the Magnolia Project. You go to the Milfamine Project, there's gangsters there. I was beefing with the Calio Project. There's gangsters there. So now, and then we, you, y'all ain't never heard the story about downtown, the Desire. That's one of the biggest projects in our city. It's plenty of gangsters out of Desire. So there's not one. I ain't no big gangs. No, I mean, man. City full of gangs. Full of, yeah. Every neighborhood, you got a killer, got somebody getting money or somebody that'll bust your butt. So ain't no, but now you had dudes who had big names. But the problem with that is, see, like, if you go like, back again, man, know you're going to call the hot boy names. There's a few other names I won't call them because I don't like them right now. So, I'm hating on them. <laughs> yeah, I'm hating on them right now. But I can highlight my OG uh, Jerker Man, uh, 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 the Magnolia Twins, Logger Black, you know, Skip Boo. So I can highlight my best friend Hank. Um, but tell it Hank. Tell it Hank too. I'll be on you. you know what I'm saying? We, we come up together. Um, but then you go to the Calio Project. It's gangsters and steppers out the Calio Project. Talking about some real live gangsters, some, you know, some steppers. So... That's if somebody ever do an interview and say, "Oh, this one, he he lying." Lying. Tell him I say he lying, and I might do a video forty day, forty night, dissing him every day, every night. <laughs> I might forty day, forty night him like, for that cap. And so, did you have to back back then? Did you have to hang with a group of people? Like, say for instance, if I grow up down there, and I just went where I ain't gang bang, I ain't do none of that. I just mind my business. I kicked it with my, I like, I just kicked it with everybody. I was a friendly type person. Would I survive? Every hood type shit. Yeah. yeah. Would I survive out there? Yeah. See, we didn't have that crazy stuff where, wait, from what are you doing? If you was out the way, you was out the way. The beef was beef, but if you was like, like I said, that's why I be tripping like how these youngsters these days just hitting everybody, just spinning and, and first they're going to say, well, you shouldn't have been out there yeah. or she shouldn't have been out. You know, we ain't do that back then. If you was a cool, here's the thing. We had a homeboy, that's crazy. You said we had a homeboy, our project was like, they was a good dude, quiet. And he used to go to school. So when some people started messing with him, we knew he was a good person. He, yeah, he, yeah, because we know he just go to school and he chill. So you're going to have the people in the project who a mother going to buy them nice clothes. They're going to be nice. They just go to school and they might come outside, hang out, but they're not about no foolishness, none of the drama. So, but they're out the project. So this, and this is our homeboy. So we got to protect him. So we know somebody outside the project did something to him. We about to ride. Because we know he don't start no problem. Right, yeah, it's right, all love. Right, right. Yeah, man. Everybody yeah. around behind him. Facts, yeah. yeah. So um, I got a question for you. Talk to me. I got to answer. You did 23 years in the, uh, in the in the chain gang, right? In 10 months. Don't forget the 10. Oh, we can't leave that 10. Out <laughs> yeah, don't worry. that's almost 20. There you go. So let me ask you this. So, Kyle, you got your brother one of the biggest names in the game. Okay. So, goddamn, to utilize <laughs> being... Can't cause you cause I know you went in right before everything blowed up. Right. So how did you utilize that? Like, I ain't gonna say you, cause I know you're a smart nigga, so I know you utilized it. How did you utilize still being a part of the cash money brand while you was in the chain game? It was in my life. Bro, that's that's why you never see me drop a disrespectful video on Birdman or Slim. Right. My whole beard bro, like two of my daughters. One went to one graduate from Howard University, one graduated from Tulane University. Right. 
I was able to pay for a cottage. One night I had to pay, I seen 11000 from my books. Right. So I was able to help my children from prison because of cash money. Let me tell you something. The, they have a, uh, an accountant. Yeah, they got an accountant in New York. So it'd be time I'd tell Bert, man, send me some money, send me some money. So he was like, listen, contact, that's her name, Rosalind. Shout out to Rosalind. Miss Garden. Um, yeah, bro. So do what happened. One day, um, I would call me like, hey, uh, baby told me to take you, send me five thousand. So she gonna she gonna cut it, but she's gonna wait, she's gonna say, uh, Brian Terrence called, yeah, send it. So Slim got tired of kept them kept saying what I asked. So Slim said, whatever you asked for, send it. All right. So I went crazy one time, you know. Um, but yeah, yeah but bro, yeah, big facts. Waiting on that. Yeah, man. Um, give me the key to the door. Yeah, and, and bro, they did that, bro. Yeah, bro. Baby, like a lot of people don't be like be talking shit about baby, but shout out to baby because baby don't try and help them. Yeah, man, they they really like that's why I always have love and respect for them because I don't know how I didn't know how I feel to do bad in prison. Them, man, they took care of me, bro. And, and back then, we had the envelope. When, when people send you money, they're going to send you a money order or a check back then. Yeah. So they're going to stamp. They're going to let you know how much you got on there. Right. Now, I yeah, I'm stunned hard. Yeah, <laughs> now, yeah. Now, now, yeah. yeah. Uh, now, one time when I first got that Slim sent me 300, 320, not 340. It's three, I still got the receipt at the house, the envelope. He was like, look, bro, because he thinking about the state, right? And back then, we had, we had the phones on the wall where you go to the commissary, you can put however much money you have or whatever you can afford on your phone and just call back, back, back. Like, they got minutes now, but back then, you could just could get a chair, pull something, ride, right? Yeah. So he's like, and we had washer dryers, we had everything you had to pay for. So he's like, oh, well, bro, you got that money? I said, man, don't you never, ever do that again, bro. I need more than that. Yeah, yeah man, man, I'm in the fed. Yeah, you can't do that, bro. But, um, like, It'd be times I might not call home. My mother worried. She'll call her baby. He fly her out. The car service. She'll tell her, man, leave. Because I don't want all that attention. Like, they, they was really there for me. Right. They, and, and I tell people this. Yeah, I would love to be with the family. But my thing is, as long as they print money, I'm going to get money. Um, I'm too old to want to run with the click now. Right, right. Be home, see, be on, I'm be on now. And then think about this. Look at the trend I set in New Orleans. I come home, I figured it out. So I got my cell phone and I'm doing hood videos. So it's a domino effect now. So now you got people making legal money now. Finally, your lead, man. That's yeah. Yeah, you know what I'm saying? Even even my ops, they talk about them, but get what? <laughs> they got their phone in front of them. Yeah, what's up? I remember this, this, this. and I'd be like, look, that's my work. Right. And I jump back, kiss myself. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But, but no, nah, for real, bro. So I was like, Learning social media, I'm like, what the world? So people really be t- 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 that stuff will blow me, and as I'm, I'm just experimenting because I ain't got, I don't have no friend, I got nobody to hang out with, so all I have nothing but time to learn how to do stuff. Right. So as I start learning, and people start because like with Instagram, I had to take the, the 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 ad off because my enemy was coming for me, and they were making all disrespectful memes and at me, so that's gonna make my followers see all this stuff. Yeah. Right. I said, hold on, now nah, I gotta take this off. So now I block y'all. Get on out the way. Right. So once I built my army up, once I built my page up, people's loving me, supporting me, rocking with me. Now I be looking for. I'm. The, I be hunting beef. Yeah. On <laughs> online now. I'm just an internet step. Yeah, I'm an internet step. A big fact. Yeah. Okay, let me say that though. Right. Mm-hmm. All right. This did really how I look at it. I got so much respect for uh for Birdman though. You know what I'm saying and all this shit. Right. But at the end of the day, right. This the fucking music industry. I ain't no nothing. Nobody gonna ever make me turn on my brother or whatever. I'm bringing my people in the fold, and whoever don't like it around us, you can get on through. You feel what I'm saying? This my brother. This this blood right here. You feel what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I'm saying that to say it just. I just don't understand how niggas. Call, I bet you in country music or whatever. You know them white folks be telling all kind of shit going on, raping the, the mob, all of them. You know what I'm saying? But let me tell you this, bro. Let, let me let me tell you this. This is why you never hear me uh, talk about that because I made the rules. I don't mind. We had a talk, right? We had that one phone call when I come home, and he asked me how did I feel about this. What I thought. I said, bro, ain't nobody bigger than the brand. Yeah. Yeah, it's more they got an image to uphold. This was built all blood, sweat, and tears. Damn, Gangsters. Damn, yeah, man. So my thing is, like I said, bro, I'm, listen, I asked Allah for two things. Release, please release me while I'm free. I mean, release me healthy. 
and give me a chance to catch my mother while she's alive, where I could take care of her. Fair. And when I got out and I talked my mother into moving with me, everything else, you know, I'm like all, all, all other blessings I'm thankful for. Right. But I, I, the two things I ask the law for, I got it. So I don't be tripping, bro. No, man, I ain't worried about nothing else. No, I understand it, but see, I'm saying I don't want to make you feel me. You know what I'm saying? I, I feel right, you, so, bro. So check me out. So come where I'm coming from, where we come from. We, it might not have been there at that stand at New Orleans. Mm -hmm. We done did, we, like, I got all, a lot of my young niggas and shit. We done lost lead. What, 17, 18 niggas and shit? You know what I'm saying? I, I'm saying that to say, uh, when you get away from the street, though, you know what I'm saying? No, you, you can't think as a street way. You know what I'm saying? You can't because that's what you come from at the same time now. In this business, you, you still want to have your street mentality because this is a cutthroat world, too. Right. It is. I'm with right. that. So I you got to know how to move. OG. Think about this here. People still killing you in the game because some people might kill you for your building. So why not have, a, why not have a Terry Gangster Williams with you there? It's real stuff. Because the thing is this. They he know they name all of my paperwork. The feds want me to tell them for murder. I could have been a bird, I man. Yeah, I've seen that. So um, now that I'm more laid back, the thing is, if somebody come to try to harm them, they know I'm out their head first. So now I'm, I'm going to blow the whole thing. I'm gonna make a movie. That's like so, a little bird, man. Don't know, man. You, you know, but you never know though. Um, what a person to try. You know what I'm saying? But right. he moves strategically, and I like that. Yeah. Um, he got a gangster that's with him. You know, um, so you hot bees up. yeah, I be trolling him. So I had to stop, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, so I'm like, I know he good. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. But but bro, a uh, real talk. See, when I look at situations like that, and then my brothers, I love them. I don't be in a tunnel vision. I look at it on a broader view, like okay. Reverse it. If that was you and that was him, how would you carry? I used to pl I pledge lead to my gun when I was in the street, so I respect it. I, bro, listen, I don't want for nothing. Right. I bro, I'm happy. I get to travel. It's I get like to see you. stuff. Yeah, man. Yeah. Man. What I need, bro. I don't know. Maybe different. From yeah, you different. Got the same daddy, right? Yeah, but we we, we stay together. No, he the first one to put the gun in my hand. Uh, man. <laughs> yeah, bro. <laughs> hey, OG. Let me ask you, right? So look, I uh, you say uh hot bees. I know y'all be bumping. He really love you. You know that, man. I'm Everybody love. Me. Listen to me. Let me tell you something. BG Turk, they all love me. They more disappointed or something. Big facts. That, that's what. That's what BG. That's the last word I heard BG say. Man, I'm, I'm disappointed in him. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. They love me though. All right, you know what? Let's get into that then. Let's okay, get into let's that get into that. Talk to me. So, all right. First of all, we already know you got the uh, what's the word? We can't go to jail for nothing because you're the, uh, oh, the immunity. immunity. All right, we all know you got the immunity. The immunity. Right. So whatever you say, you can't get in trouble for nothing. Mm -hmm. right. Type shit. Yeah. All right, so. So just help me understand that, right? Telling on the dead, right? Mm hmm So first of all, let me say that y'all killed 40 niggas. You and your clip, right? It was more, but. More. Yeah. I mean, what you stepped on, though, personally? <laughs> what you was in, personally? <laughs> I see. Hey, look, right. I seen your interview with Black the other day, right? You say, mm -hmm. uh, who was Black Mo or whoever got the picture yeah. about it? Yeah, my big yeah. dog. See, that's mean, why I don't. That's why. I, no Vlad, that's yeah. why I don't drink or smoke to this day because of Black and Mo. I like that. I like that. It's a Black and Mo. I was already. Yeah. I mean, it's too late for me though. It ain't never too late. But go ahead. Hey, well, look, right. So I thought it was too late, late for me. 15. You know how old I am? About forty-seven, man. No, probably about fifty-three. Fifty-five. Fifty-seven. What you at, OG? It's too old. He's sick. Sixty. There you go. Sixty. Yeah. But 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 um, nah, I'm I'm lying. It's Ramadan, man. I'm I'm forty nine, man. But look though, right? Look though, OG. Yeah. Look, look, OG. I'll be fifty in November four, inshallah. Be there. I seen you said when they asked about um, you talking about who with me? Or, or you, talk, you know, what I'm I peeped that out now. I peeped you out now. So you got more than black and more. What's going on? Of course, cause you got to keep mind. Mo was killed. He was like twenty or twenty one. Yeah. So he didn't have that longer. Lifespan, you know. Um, so, when they were 21, did all that? Yeah, so I'm trying to tell you, man. So we was well, young, we be city, young. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he, he born in January, January, something, 70 something. But yeah, that was like, because I did the math. I said, man, Mo was 20 and 20, man. We was young back then. Cause I had to be like 16, 17 running with him. Yeah. So I'm like, man, we was young. And then I look at the youngsters now, I'm like, wow. Yeah, we was young, bro. But you got to keep in mind is this. Growing up in New Orleans, all ghetto hood, 
So ain't nothing but smacking going on. Yeah. Sure. Hustling, humping bras, he'll get you a nice car. Shit, yeah, man. Ooh, yeah, big fact. Yeah. He, he ain't answer my question, though. Talk to me. What you say? <laughs> I said, nigga, I beat y'all OG now because you were like, oh, we like, what's more people don't got bodies or whatever? You said, you talking about who me or you talking about somebody else I know? So I know you don't stand up more than him because I peaked that now. I peaked that now. Mm -hmm. so, and, and this ain't that you can get in trouble for, right? Cause... Right, but this is the thing. Let me show you something. Right. Like, some of the victims, I had to talk to their family. I, I understand that. Um, I mean, one of, one, of the, one of the dudes' daddy asked me, did my son suffer? But this the thing, and this is why I always tell people I don't regret nothing I've done in life because everybody that got crushed was in the streets too. Right. Mm -hmm. Maybe killed people, done, you know what I'm saying? So, you that is. Right. Gotcha. Um, I just don't, I don't like to, y'all know I ain't never done videos talking about murders. Right. Because I really lived that stuff for real and I really done that and I be like, I also keep in mind they got sons, nephews, cousins. They be like, yeah. we can't. All, right, well, we can't. "All right, we got something for you." But I'm gonna say that it's way more than. I see that. It's, it's way more than him. It's way more than twenty. Way more than OG. Yeah, I'm gonna show you the paper. I'm mad when you come down my way. I'm gonna show you. Yeah. I'm gonna show you the black and white. I give you my word. I'm gonna show you the paperwork. So, so you got my word on that. I, I understand that too, cause right? Cause I did the hardest shit I ever had to do in my life, right? Like my my best friend got killed, right, by a nigga. And, um, you know what I'm saying, nigga did some time for that shit, but he came home saying he didn't do it or whatever, right? So, you know. All right, but now be careful. Don't get Keefy D, now. Nah, nah. All nah, right. Nah, nah, nah. He done nah. did time for it or whatever. I like I, I like coming down here. Bro, we should, hey, bro. OG, I will say it like we, man, you, you with the one. Okay, so I went the guys. With the boy. Okay. Shit, but did the hardest shit I had to do in my life. Like, Where the women at? I let it go type shit, because niggas like, I didn't, I didn't do that type shit. Bro. Let me tell you what I always tell people, bro. It take a man to apologize, and it take a man to walk away. Yeah. You got to see the bigger picture because I always tell people, I think for me and the next man. Right. Don't think just because I say, okay, my bad, I apologize, I walk over that I'm soft. I always tell brother, when I became Muslim. That's the biggest thing. Yeah, nigga, boy, nigga want to play with a nigga. Boy, man, oh, man, yeah. man. But you, First bro, boy, man, the big Facts, man. yeah. Right. Sometimes, sure. brother, I got to tell you when we were talking. You gotta kill your ego every day. Yeah, you man. Get that pride and kill that ego every day. Once you learn this, good brother don't mean soft brother. Oh my God, God hey. damn! Big oh, facts. Hey, I press yeah, around bro. This bitch, man. Yeah, but and people know that too. But some people still be like, okay, like this has to be when I was on the streets. If I know you's a big drug dope boy. I'm gonna jack you, right? I'm not mashing. I'm gonna go. I'm gonna jack you, and I'm gonna think. I'm gonna first. I'm gonna say, there's two things gonna happen. Either he gonna send a hit at me, or we gonna go to war. So I'm like, man, I'm taking, I'm jacking him, and it is what it is. Do what you gonna do. As long as I know you ain't calling police, because you, it's certain people that I know I ain't had to kill. Yeah. I'm gonna jack you, because I might need to come back and jack you again if I, yeah. if I mess this up. <laughs> That's just, a, bro, sometimes I sit back and be like, man, I was doing some wild, dumb stuff. Yeah. I sit back and think about that stuff. I'm like, wow, man. But I say, God kept me here for a reason, man. And that's why I don't take nothing for granted. Be sparing niggas, man. Yeah. That's what I be saying. Like, niggas don't even like this shit chess. Really? I like I like Monopoly. I don't like chess. I like OG. I don't even know how to play chess. But yeah. I know chess. I've been doing it my whole life. Yeah, Monopoly better, though. You get to go around the board. You can buy property. Got to get out of jail, free card, and then you can win that money. I like that. I, like I, like I got the Monopoly robe and everything. I might send you one. <laughs> yep. I like that, OG. Hey, but like I'm saying to you, they're real, though. Talk to me. Hey, so, you know, y'all running around the city, y'all doing this, doing that, right? Talk to did me. Did you ever, like, one of your people you ran with, like, did y'all ever have a situation where you lost one of them in front of you? Yeah. I lost Sterling in front of me. Uh -huh. Let me tell you something. I'm about to tell you, let me tell you what's crazy. The three hot boys that's deceased. Sterling and I was together. He got hit like seven times in the back of his head. Mosquito come got me one night because some dude got into with his girl. So what happened, he wait where his girl had the situation at, I was standing around the corner from there. So him and I went back there to handle that. He dropped me off. I got shower. Laid down, 30 minutes later, they said, mosquitoes got killed. I said, man, man, just drop me off. Y'all tripping. But he had just got killed. I was in the fed. I was on the phone with Dooney. 
I said, man, why you still being that person? I said, you feel you got a point to prove? And he said, yeah, love. Yeah, love. I ain't gonna lie. He threw a bottle at the little dude. Little dude running. Then one day, little, little dude come out. Afternoon, shot, long distance, hit him in the side. Him and Killer Stone said the prayers together. He died of internal bleed. I had just got the phone with him. Right. That's how the DBs come about. He had the little young boys to hang with him so long. My homegirls always came up with all the nicknames. But, yeah, I was either with a hot boy or just left him or something. So everything always hit home for me. But I learned to control my emotions. And, big, 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 big. And, and, and you got to always remember this. A real bad boy going to hit hard and move silent. For sure. Sometimes you can't make noise. See, like I tell people on, on social media, I've already developed bulletproof remote, so ain't nothing you can say going to tick me off on here. Nothing. All, like certain things, when people diss me, I look at their views. If their views up, then y'all miss the answer right back. But if the views ain't, nah, man, watch out. You trying to do me like Boosie. I did Boosie. <laughs> nah, you can't take, can't get me out of my own game. You got to get an age to, do, to think like that, though. Most young niggas don't think like how you That's think. a fact. But I was, th but think about this. I went to the family when I was 23, so I was thinking like this back then. I, I already That's how I was able to run. Smoke. Yes, I was able to run with the big dogs. That's how I was able to sit at the table with the killers, let's to play all the old heads. Because I was one of the ones going to speak out on certain stuff. Yeah. Yeah, man. So you been sober your whole life for like no draw, no... Nothing. And you were going around here doing all this, and then... Smacking, yeah. And fuck up your mental life. No. Let me tell you what. Let me tell you something. I did an interview with uh, Real Life Street Stars in Dallas. Shout out Real Life Street. Shout out to Real Life Street Stars. That's my home now. Um, and I had the therapist with me. And they were saying it right now. Like I said, I said, well, maybe I have a problem. I might have a problem. So I was like, you know what? I need two therapists. I need two therapists that's not married, that's going to be to be available around the clock. <clears throat> so if I need them, they there. But I need two freaky therapists to help me with my problem. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah, I was like, I'm not denying I may have a problem. Right. But I need two female therapists that like each other. But not, but you know what? Like you say, you ain't never fought nobody that went outside the street. So no. you in it. You don't really need no therapy like that. Cause how you thinking? You're the murder capital of the world. Yeah, I want a therapist, man. You tell me I don't need no therapist. Yeah, I need a therapist. Say yeah, that, exactly. That's what I say. I want two women therapists <laughs> who not there. <laughs> yeah, that they, yeah, that's what I want them for. My sex addiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I need a therapist. Yeah, I need a therapist. Yeah, what's up? I'm still kind of lost. Okay, you got to be a strong man to do this, like, just mentally. Let me take some, bro. To live the life you live and where they come from, no cool. And, think about that. And, but I'm Hold just up. saying, like, you still like say for instance, like at nights when you by yourself, and you probably did the did that. It don't like you battle your thoughts. Like it don't damn. You know, like it don't bother you at all. This what bothers me. Okay, when I had them nightmares, y'all talk about it. Be what female I'ma hit. <laughs> how much money I'm going to get, what house I'm going to buy. Real talk. I've never had a night. I think they come from the mob. Mm -hmm. Let me tell you something. I was impressed with the mob when I was in prison. I had a mob encyclopedia. And in the, in the encyclopedia, they say that the mob, what they used to do, they used to, when they, when they would uh, delete their victim, they would pluck the eyes out because they thought when the people did an autopsy, they thought the people that did the autopsy could see that the, the dead victim was the last person they saw, the one who killed them. So they would take the eyes out. And I was like, this is so crazy. So people take that stuff and they run with it, right? So I was always one of the ones that always challenged stuff. <laughs> but I've never had a nightmare. But let me show you something, bro. Because I got a nonprofit organization called They Need Us. And I reach out, I go talk to the children. Um, if I did, bro, I would, I would, I would honestly, thank you. I would honestly tell people because that's something people be want to talk about, be wanting to know. I it never hit me. I've, I've ne bro, all thing I think about staying alive, getting money, like I said, abroad or two, and, and, and enjoying life, bro. Damn right. Okay, so man, all right, so man, now you at a point in your life now, you know, you digitized, you came out, you don't do the things you do now that you used to do. So it still don't affect you, like it still don't bother. You. Okay. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying to get money now. I'm trying to go buy this land and and, and, and go kick back. Damn, the rest of my, yeah, that's what I'm on now, bro. And, and I gotta then you gotta keep in mind this: my youngest son is in the fade. My youngest baby, my youngest boy, he uh, turned 26 years old. Um, he been out three years and gone on four years. He got locked up. He was 22. He got 15 years for drug 
and a gun, and he's still fighting two bodies. And in the indictment, he got a body when he was 16, but they didn't charge him because he's an, an adult now. But it's in there. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, wow. So I I don't have time to try to have a pity party for myself or uh, laying down. Bro, let me tell you something. I got a bed. I got the lights on that joint. I got the speakers on that thing. And then uh, one of my people that's, that 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 been following me from day one has sent me some lights. Well, I, I pressed a little, it's a little remote control. I think turned red and then blue, green. Man, I be in there enjoying life. I ain't got no indeed, bro. I'm trying to have them girls in South Carolina come down there and text me. <laughs> we, got, we got you, OG. Hey, t- 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 let me ask you this, though, on some real shit, right? All right, Bim. All right, like we say, we know you told on dad to get out of jail, right? Mm-hmm. So how much time did you do after you told on dad? And, and after that, was niggas in the feds? Did they have a problem with that type shit? But let me tell you, this the I'm happy you asked that. This was the out of my whole 23 and 10, that was the longest 30 days of my life. <laughs> no, let me tell you what the judge did what they did, bro. Did what they did. This is during COVID. Yeah. So the prosecutor, she was trying to play crackhead game, right? Because she was upset that I wouldn't. She said, okay, he gave up all these murders to stay help all that, but he ain't get on nothing with cash money. Mm-hmm. So mm-hmm. she dragged it. She dragged it. She don't want to follow this motion for him, right? right? So I played cra- I played a crazy. I filed a motion to the court. I said, hey, what's going on? I'm trying to find out what's up. So yeah. it's like a, like you pressing the government, but the judge going to make them answer, right? So now uh, the judge granted, we get the hearing. Like I said, I had a Zoom meet. In the hearing, some kind of way the prosecutor asked the judge, it's a, it's a, it's called victim uh, impact statement, right? Where the families get a chance to come to your sentencing hearing and say how they feel, and that would determine what your sentence is going to be. Now, I got life of two bodies. I was never indicted a child for these murders. Saying that you said that. Yeah. So, technically speaking, there is no such thing as a victim impact statement in my case. But the prosecutor saw that I was winning, but now I started a class called uh, uh, I Can't Go, I'm a Better Man. I Even with life sentence, I used to help people prepare for the streets. I, had, look, I, I, used to get, I got with the council, we used to give people certificates for taking the class and everything. I used to help people, a lot of people out. So um, when I presented this, I had overwhelming good stuff. I had a, my own nine residence drug class. I had a lot of stuff. So she, some kind of way, got the judge to agree to allow her to contact the victim's family to give a statement and say how they feel uh, about me come getting out of prison, right? Mm, trying to hate, really. And then what she said, I got the paperwork at my house. Then what she said, she said, Yana, even though this doesn't apply uh, to this case, but she used some big words. I'm just kind of shutting it down. She said, uh, the, the government thanked the court for allowing this to go on. I'm like, wow, they make the law and break the law. So now the judge said this, I never it was October uh 27 I went I had the, the hearing to just see 327 months bro I want now I wanted 300 months I wanted 25 years but he gave me 27 26 and a half something like that something like that now mind you I got like I had life sentence so I don't have no good time but once they keep me down the numbers I'm gonna have I'm gonna give me all my good time um go to the hearing so I'm, I'm bothering my lawyer because then the judge say, y'all got 30 days to contact the victim family and get me their statement. I'm like, what the world? Man. So I'm going around to just about, bro, I went to not the whole dorm, but it's like 100 some people in the dorm. I went around to at least 100. Asking them, I say, how much time you got? 20. Well, yeah, you got a lot of And then I do the math. Because you get all around this time? Yeah. Because I'm trying to say when I'm going to get out. Mm-hmm. Right? So, um, they couldn't catch one of the victim family, but they caught up with one. There was a mother and three daughters. Mm. Two of the daughters say, oh, no, we happened with him dying in prison. One, the daughter and the mother said, um, I don't know how I would feel if you let him out. Um, it's, it's not going to bring my son back. So I'm like, what the world? So I'm like, man, I hope this judge don't, because the prosecutor wanted me to get 40 years. Mm-hmm. So... My lawyer filed with you. Helping with, after helping. Yeah. Because she was mad because she wanted a bird, man. And that's what she wanted. Yeah, so, 
So I'm like, man, no, she tripped. So she says this in at the hearing. Well, y'all, when he get out, he's going to be fine because he didn't tell on, he kept his mouth closed. He didn't tell on cash money. This is in my sentence and transcript. Mm-hmm. Yeah, man, I said, that lady, bug it, right? So uh, my lawyer filed. I, everything I'm telling you, I got all this in paperwork. Um, my lawyer files after the uh, after the prosecutor presented the, uh, the victim's uh, family uh, statements. And my lawyer, well, Yana, you know, this is how they feel, but you should still stand by the sentence you gave him. So now, mind you, this is around November. So December coming. So now you got to wait for the courses of the paperwork. So have my lawyer sent me a copy of the paperwork. December come, Christmas, everything shut down. You know, New Year's right there. So I said, I'm gonna be cool because I got this now. This locked in, right? So I see the man uh, worked in R and D records. This same guy, bro, he committed. So he killed himself in forward uh, last year. Uh, Mr. Harris, man. So I go to him. No, he see me at coming out the child hall. Coming out from E. He said, Boy, you get ready to go home, huh? I said, I said, we get immediate release. He said, Nah, you get out this shit around home. I said, Nah, man, you tripping. He said, Man, I'm t- I contact uh, Grand Perry and they told me I'm doing the Matt right. I say, This was January, so it's like, okay, six, seven months from now, seven months, whatever. I said, I still get halfway house, so I'm still going home this year. Mm-hmm. But as I did the Matt, I'm four months over my time. I get the paperwork. I go to R&D one day. I go to January the 3rd. Me and my homie, baby. Um, my holiday dates. Yeah. Smoke the drink. <laughs> nah, January 3rd, bro. So, I go to this man right after lunchtime. Me and my partner, baby, from Pensacola. We go up to the r and I say, hey, man, I will be home, man. He said, no. So I pull the paperwork. He said, look, your Matt, my Matt going to be different. I said, Matt, the same all around the United States. What are you talking about? I said, well, listen, fax this to Grand Perry and let them calculate my time can you do that for me? He said, yeah, give it there. He went now, came. I said, man, he ain't big. He ain't fast to tell them people. So me and my pop, we walk back to the dorm. We go in my cell, because I was in the cell by myself. So we talked for a few minutes. I said, man, I might go get in the shower, man. I jump in the shower, bro. Let that hot water hit me. My counselor, Mr. Jones, he say, Terry Williams. I said, man, what? You better come on in. You ain't getting out. Whoa. I ain't get a chance to bathe or nothing. Yeah. I jumped out that shower. Man, look, everybody, the whole dorm erupt, bro. Clapping was happy. Go home. Yeah, everybody showed love, but they were happy, bro. Like, wow. Go in there and grab a few things, right? I gave all my clothes, gave all my stuff away. I got a t shirt, my, my great jogging pad. That man, bro, I didn't believe it, bro. They brought me up front, gave me my money on a card. Uh, then they brought me to the bus station. I see this pay phone. Trying to work this pay phone, putting a quarter, keep dropping down. So I got tired. I went sat down. And this nice little female got off the bus. She came in there. So she got the phone up and she's looking at it. And I'm sitting down, I'm looking at her. She's looking at the phone. I said, hey, that person can see you? She like, I'm like, my bad. I apologize. I just got the face. I didn't know. So she turned the phone to me. And I do like this. And the dude do that. I'm like, whoa. Dude, I way said, man, back. yeah. I said, world. <laughs> I said, man, they, they look and they say, because see, back in 08, uh, a guy that I'm cool with from Ocala, Florida, his mother and them came up with the phone because I had a, a website. Uh, it was called I See You. And and I remember we were selling them phone, but what made me back off it, it was like I had to sell you a phone and then you got to sell him a phone. And when he paid phone, but that's how you get paid. I was like, I ain't got time to be hustling for nobody because they put me on. They ain't about to work for me. I left it alone. I remember telling baby, I said, bro, you got new phones out now where well, you can see. He said, man, you lying, you kid. I said, now I'm telling you that, man, but I never had saw it. So now for me to be out and actually get a chance to sit on it, wow. So I get on the bus and I'm talking to this dude. He juried up. He talking this player talk. I said, you got a phone? He said, no, I don't got no phone. I said, man, he cold clown. You jury, you talking on, you ain't got a cell phone? I'm like, man, people in jail got a cell phone. You ain't got a So we riding and we got off at the stop. We stopped. So there's these two little Latinos. I said, hey, can I use the phone? I called my mother. I said, mom, y'all, man, you got to come get me. Because I'm is this bus going to be a long ride? I'm ready to get to that city right now. So she got my little brother, woke him up, got his wife. And I got, when I made the Pensacola, I got off the bus, go to this, everything closed because it's like 12 in the morning. That's, I saw this 18-wheeler. I said, hey, 
can I use your phone? He said, no. I was like, oh, all right. I, then I thought I said, yeah, people be doing wild stuff. So I said, I respect that. So I go stand back at the fr- front of the uh, gas station where the highway at, cold as I don't know what, because I done gave all my clothes away. I was happy I got out. Now I reality kicking it. I'm mad I gave my sweatshirt on his way now. <laughs> I was happy, but now I'm like, man, oh, I need to get that. But anyway, I got my little bag sitting down when I'm cold. So the truck get ready. When he get ready to hit the highway again, he stopped. He said, come here. He gave me two little packs. He said, put this one on your body. It's going to keep you warm. And the other one is going to keep your hands warm. You know? So it's like, I'm like, man, I hope there ain't no COVID or nothing on this stuff. I got to do. So he saw I was homeless. So he said, what's your mother number? I gave my mother. He called my mother. He told my mother the uh, gas station I was at. My brother pulled up in his truck. I jumped in his truck. He won't drive. I said, no, no, I'm scared. I won't drive. So the first place I went to was the Waffle House. <laughs> yeah, I got me some grits, eggs, and chicken. So none of your people ain't know you were getting out? Uh, no, I didn't know. You didn't know. No. Because uh, like I say, had I practiced patient and waited for the courts, they would have drugged me a little longer. Because, you know, the courts take their time to send the paperwork. Mm-hmm. Grand Perry got to calculate about my lawyer sent me the paper, so I did my own work. Yeah, I went up to the or to the records where they do your time at in the jail. Say, hey, send us the grand paper. I'm supposed to be home. And then when they got it, oh, okay. So January the third, but people let me up out of there, man. Look, 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 look OG now. Talk to me. Everything you just said, the realest of the realest. You still ask my question. Talk they, to they, me. So, they, so I when they, ain't nobody in there be like, hey, God damn, how you going home there early? What, 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 what? You had to explain the situation. No, cause see the thing was. I have, I, I have a right as well. I've stabbed people before. Mm-hmm. I'm going to keep me ashamed. Everybody know me when I go to a prison. Play with that boy. Yeah, don't bring me no food. Don't bring me bring me some cosmetic. Bring me something sweet to eat, though. But bring me two knives. Mm-hmm. I need two. I want two floaters while I go through the metal detector. So dudes know when I get to the joint, I need a knife. Mm-hmm. Because, you know, like we had this thing. You tough, I'm tough. We're going to see the toughest. Right. So it's always somebody going to try you, right? But I was one of the ones that I never, I, like I didn't never gamble. Well, I played a ticket. I did play the ticket twice. I hit two. First time in my life, I never shoot, shot dice, never gambled on the street, coming to the fed, play the ticket, and I hit. Look. Yeah, I hit twice. <laughs> and look, let me tell you what made me stop. Yeah. So, like, the third time I got my the college play, I never get with Michigan playing somebody. So, this old head named Cuttingham, they all did a little gambling table and on the TV where they watch the sport. So, I'm standing there looking at my ticket, and he like, he said, look, look, a gangster. Boy, all this stuff, you're going to get addicted, boy. And everybody laughing, right? And I look, I felt stupid. I said, you know what, he right. I said, man, it's the last day. I ain't planning stuff no more. <laughs> and I and I and I quit, but I had a ticket. We used to run a ticket. But to ask your question, no, um, and you gotta keep in mind is this. I'm a Muslim, so we be deep. Yeah. You ain't gonna put your hand on a Muslim, right? But here's the another thing. I was the imam now. What that was that? Talk to brother. The head, the leader, the one who yeah. who he get a cook ball. Yeah, <laughs> Everybody gonna ride behind the imam. What it call? The imam. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. Sure. I, you know what I'm saying? But I never pushed my way. Anybody can take every joint I went to. I never pushed my weight around. I was even for like five, six years. I never pushed my weight around. I never disrespect nobody. I never got into none of the bull crap. If a brother had a problem, first thing I was like, he owe you money. Let's try to work it out mm-hmm. first before we go to war. So I always wanted him. I always, always was a thanker. Um, I've never just. Let me see. One time, on oh, one time, I had to call for the hyenas to hit. A, it was a dude. It happened in uh, Yazoo. Hyenas. Yeah, because there's a bunch. I love, I, <laughs> y'all go ahead and get him. Get him. Sick him. But other than that, um, no, nah, like I said, the dog, everybody was happy for me. See, let me tell you something, bro, about prison. See, out here, a lot of people talk that, oh, man, I wouldn't do this. I would never tell them the date. I would never do this and this, right? There's dudes in there who wish they had, do, do people always say it's street kind of people in prison. People who told, people who wish they told, and, and people who wish they had something to tell. Mm-hmm. So you got, and then you got that little 1% that's just sticking on, I'm standing on business too, I will, I will say that. But you got a lot of people, they don't want to die in prison, bro. Yeah. You got people that, if they can get out like I got out, slot up out of there, they'll do it, bro. It ain't hurting, man. You, you know what I'm saying? Bro. I'm just being honest, like I don't know if, because uh, I'm going to say this. Tell me. Shit. Tell me. I was in some charges and shit. And uh Be careful because Boosie gonna get mad with you. All right, I, I'm gonna say that too. Now shot like Boosie my dog. We we done did a show together, we got video together and all that. Yeah, but that might cancel. So I don't you know what he's doing back. with the uh dancing and shit on the sideline and all that shit now. Dad. He he like, having fun. Now. Let me tell you something, bro. He, light, now. he having fun, yeah, bro. When I saw that, I didn't see nothing wrong with that. I was like, bro, he enjoying life. I I hey, I 
I'm just saying. I just see so you too cool. You ain't gonna do but boost it. Boo feel like man. I'm about. To, I'm out here because you get think about this here. See, see, the other day he feel like he living. Yeah, he living, bro. I said I feel like he living because he done been through a lot. So you like fuck. and he got the gun show. Ain't no tip, man. I'm about to get out here act yeah. a fool. Some people say it was that it was that, it's that blackface dance. I don't like it, nah. You know what I'm saying? Just to be honest. He look like Boosie. Like, but but what I'm saying is, say though, I had got some charge and shit. They tried to do that with me. Like, oh, um, now we just make everything disappear if you got down. Just say your partner did the woo woo. My partner was dead. And they just say your partner did the woo the woo the kind of shit, right? Mm -hmm. But I ain't do it. I stay strong. You stood on business. Stood on business. They okay. Do it too. Okay. I, I took it to the door type shit, right? But see, you gotta look at this here. You gotta look at it if you had the life sentence. I know and that. Then you can't, yeah. Oh, hey, yeah so that don't, OG, I was, hey. yeah, that don't count what I'm you did. I, I, <laughs> I'm hating on them, y'all. It count. I wish you know. So, but let me tell you something. respect that, OG. Let me let me tell you something, bro. Every man got their own opinion. So, sure. so you got a right to feel how you feel Fact. about that. And I ain't calling and, New Orleans. Y'all niggas on some. Fact. We, you know, what I'm saying, I respect everything y'all done did. No, but let me tell you this, bro. I respect your stance. I don't get, bro. Here's the thing. I could get up in the morning. And like I'm looking at that camera, I can look at myself in the mirror and still be happy with who I am. That's real. I respect I'm that. not mad, bro. When people call me a rat, snitch. We'll take a break. We'll they, smoke real quick. Yeah, we're going to get you a smoke break. I don't need all that in the polo. Yeah. So, <laughs> when, 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 it up. When, 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 when people call me a rat, a snitch, and all that, I don't get upset. Because honestly, I look at, because this is what I tell people. Okay, you told them dead. But the thing is, the rule is you don't ever supposed to go sit in that room with the, the, with the law enforcement, period. Mm -hmm. So now you telling us you told them that you behind closed door. How we doing it? We don't, what else you could have told them people? Mm -hmm. You see what I'm saying? Yeah, they, they looking at that couple of cooperation. Yeah, bro. Like you say, everybody got different moral, different opinions. Thanks. So like a person would be like, well, I wouldn't have did, bro, that's you. I would say this. You never say never because think about this, hot bezel, right? His girl, he on the road. I'll be back this day, but come back another day, kicking the door. It's a little dude that run around. This is a cold step. He ain't crushed the little dude. He let the little dude live. So that's what I always tell people. You never say hey, never. Anyway, that don't even work. That ain't worth doing that, right? Well, you know, certain people that hit her, him and her. Yeah. And you had to be on trial. Like, oh, you had the glove don't fit. You must have quit. So you got to respect him for not crushing the dude. Yeah, because you know what I'm saying? The, I don't know about that part, but I'm just saying this is here. I use that uh, uh, that analogy to show never say never or you can't say. Right. Well, I ain't going to say you can't, but you should never say, oh, I would never do this, I would never do this until you're in that situation. Yeah, I ain't fucked yeah. up, though, huh? Yeah, until you... Yeah, I ain't fucked up, though. But I tell you this here, though, bro. Think about this. If I never make the decision I made to free myself, I wouldn't be with y'all. I'll be in a cell right now with a shank on me. Can't do her respect that. What time is it? Hey, there with no yeah, you, you wouldn't be here what time? They out. They out right now. They they already ate. <laughs> so some of them in this cell, sneaking on the phone. Some of them on the phone with their girl fussing. Some of them, you come and visit me. You, why you ain't sending money? I don't want to go do that. Come on. Bro, I'm tired of being around half of my life. Smell it. Big fat. Bro, let me tell you what I do sometimes. Sometimes I get in my car and I just ride up and down this this highway. This avenue, whatever you want to call it, because it got a bunch of restaurants and stores, and right. I just be looking at it, bro. I'm, like, I'm gonna go there next. I'm gonna go there next. Right. I got my own lockdown. I got my own feet up. Right. And like I tell people, bro, I don't buy friendships. It's too expensive. So you mad with me? Okay, you mad with me? All right, stay over there. Uh, you don't leave me alone. I'm leave, you know, I'm in my own lane. Now I would say this. And you know what's crazy? Think about this, bro. It's because of who I am and what I have set. Oh, uh, the, 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 the mark that I did in New Orleans, I get the most backlash because think right. about this. Here you got a man that done a lot of dirt, come home, denounce the streets, non-profit, tell people, hey, I don't live that life no more, civilian now, and they still come for me. Pull you back in still come for me. We don't want to hear that. No, you did it. Yeah. But the bro, they, average, got mad, they got mad at Rallo for telling on himself. Facts. What the fuck? I did a video defending Rallo. But let me show you something now. Yeah, but think about this, bro. The app, like, say for instance, if uh, Boosie cousin, uh, what his name? Donkey, Donkey would have did something, but now he's a priest. The governor would say, "That man to change his life, leave him alone, let him be." Yeah. They won't leave, but I, but I would say this too. 
the reason why they don't let me be it because I be on that trolling too. I be on that internet. Oh yeah, you're trolling. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so, so you're Charleston. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, let, let me tell you what's crazy about Charleston, bro. Not Charleston, why we want to? Yeah. Charleston, why? Because bro, when I first met Charleston, when I where my barbies had his barber before, he used to tell me about Charleston why he giving the number. You no, know, this white dude giving the number. Called Charleston. So this I said, gang. I said, man, you didn't scare me. Some other gangster called my phone. I say, I say, yeah, I'm trying to get to the juvenile, uh, talk to the juvenile, the juvenile. He said, right, I'm gonna make a call, I'm gonna hook you up. And then one day he called me, he said, man, I've got a little uh, a meeting with some children in, in Georgia. Atlanta, you want to come out? You come out? And I said, yeah, I'm coming out. I missed my plane, caught a late plane, got there. I, mean, I, met, I met with the man, and uh, we went to the hood uh, to a barbecue place. But when I went in there, I'm peeping out his, his line of his setup, right? I see Dewberry back there in the back in a cut. I said, okay. Then I see a tall old head. I said, okay, he's strapped. Okay, he got his look. That's what we're watching. Yeah, I'm yeah, right. people, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm going to watch now. I'm going to So I saw his line. I said, okay, he, he living like that. So, you know, we uh, you know, we took a picture together. I posted on Instagram. OG, we ride with you. But man, I don't like it. We can't stand him. A lot of people didn't, couldn't stand this, man. Now everybody hates Chris. They love him now. They love him. Love him. And I'm like, wow. Right, Charles and White, man. So I ain't Say, bro, they love him, bro. Once he broke everything down, I'm going to be honest. I don't never really give my opinion because they're my opinion. They don't dictate what person is. You feel me? Because I don't nice. know your full story. Like, when I start hearing that man real story, what he don't really did for them kids and all that good shit, like, I don't know nobody. If you done did shit for them kids and China got they ain't go forward, like keep going. You feel me? Like you say, certain shit we hold on to because of codes and oh they said don't do this or don't do that. Listen, if you stand on that, you stand on it. Facts. I ain't, yeah, ain't never said nothing wrong. Yeah, like, like the way, way I don't know if people don't like the way he say shit or whatever, but his that delivery. Shit, he dropped jewel. He just yeah. open any mess. You know Let me show you something. That's what you need to get a mess across. That's you know what Open any mess. Yeah, you see him on. Pay attention till you do that. Yeah, you see him on TV on on the, on, on the channels, right? Yeah. But in person, cool as a fan. I can tell, man. Cool as a fan. Respectful, bro. Cool as a fan. Yeah, bro. Then OG got that little ball spot on that too. Yeah. Oh, I tell you, man, him was on live. Oh, we gave me hell that for about that naked jersey. But then once I gave it to him, like little do do do. Oh, goddamn, got the chopping it up. I started saying who I know, who he know, and get what? I am like, when I did say to him, like, oh, yeah, let's do something. Woo, woo. I'm like, say, say, win, it, it done. And then on phone died on the on Instagram live. So, but we ended up just connecting the die later. But like I say, you and Unk, I ain't gonna lie, I don't even true. I tell the boy, I'm like, them niggas smart. Create a character and control the algorithm. I've been enjoying life, bro. I don't care if nobody, I'm having like, fun, bro. Yeah, I respect it. Hey. Hey, look, uh, hey, we're going to go get these wings. We're going to take a little break. We got to eat. I know you eat not a dog now. Nah. It dog? Man, it no, it ain't dog. I can't eat to about 30 more minutes. Well, okay, we'll go order them then. Man. Let me hear yeah, order. Yeah. All right. right. Yeah, let, cut. I, I cut. Break. Break time, y'all. Cut. Yeah. I'm dropping juice.